Today's the day that we make it extremely obvious that a bunch of Freemasons didn't get up in a rocket and travel 238,000 miles in a near perfect vacuum and land on a rock. But before I get into the video I made, check my link tree in my bio for my podcast. We just uploaded a two hour episode completely destroying this thing. I don't know if there's a more thorough one out there, but this is what artificial light looks like when you use EMF extraction methods and um, yeah, compared to the moon landing photos, it doesn't look like that's actually the sun. It looks like it's an artificial light source, but let's get into the video. <laughs> that's not uh, an eight-year-old's question. <laughs> that's my question. <laughs> I want to know, but I think I know. Because we didn't go there, and, and that's the way it happened. Because we didn't go there, and... And that's the way it happened. That seemed pretty oh, clear. <laughs> moment of the journey? Scariest. It didn't happen. Oh, okay. That's pretty it clear, too. Scary. What the heck? I thought that guy landed on the moon. Right. What did he just say? <laughs> yeah, no, just I logically did this. In a nanosecond. Uh, the problem is we don't have the technology to do that anymore. We used to, but we... Uh, destroyed that technology and uh, it's a painful process to build it back again. <laughs> Need Werner von Braun, huh? Oh, and all the moon landing tapes just magically got okay, erased as well. How convenient as well as the telemetry data. Area of dangerous hmm. radiation. Radiation like this could harm the guidance systems, onboard computers, or other electronics on Orion. Naturally, we have to pass through this danger zone twice. Once up and once back. What about 1969? Shielding will be put to the test as the vehicle cuts through the waves of radiation. Sensors aboard will record radiation levels for scientists to study. We must solve these challenges before we send people through this region of space. We must solve these challenges before we send people through this region of space. Again, what about 1972? Oh yeah, and the moon rocks were petrified wood, provably. <laughs> yeah, they analyzed them and found out they were petrified wood. That's awkward. That's all right. Uh, I do that all the time. I drop hammers on the moon all the time. Just pick it up. Lean over. Bend down with your knee and pick it up. Unless you're on a harness. <laughs> um, shouldn't he just be able to bend over and pick that hammer back up? Or am I just... It's my brain just not working. <laughs> Maybe I'm just off. Oh, that's a little awkward. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's on a harness. That just defied physics. <laughs> I don't know how people get past this. It's incredible. Oh, that's weird. And then... 